Let's now get into our mission segment this evening on News 360, brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida, and the European Union. In mission this evening, residents at Aniji, a farming community in the Kweu Afran Plains North District of the Eastern Region, have devised means to solve their health needs in the face of slow response from district authorities. As Danny Niblo reports, the locals have initiated the construction of a chips compound for their health needs five years after their mud house chips facility collapsed. Aniji, a class of seven villages, is one of the oldest settler communities dominated by Erves. Farming and fishing are the predominant sources of livelihood for inhabitants. Although residents contribute their quota to the national food basket, development is not visible. Access to health care, for instance, is not easy. Five years ago, a mud building serving as a chips compound was pulled down by a rainstorm. Residents had to travel 36 kilometers to Donkokrum to access health care. Distribution of the national cake has not been even and so there is a wide developmental gap to be filled by Aniji and its adjoining communities. Several projects have not been able to see light of day. The district assembly has been slow in responding to their concerns. The assembly, however, blames the situation on lack of funds. There are so many things the assembly is doing, but the resources is boiled down to resources. Because if resources were there, the assembly would have gladly done that so that uh, every assembly member would get. But when they bring the needs, it is prioritized. But this has not deterred residents at Aniji. They live it themselves and have put up a cement block chips compound to cater for their health needs. The facility has stalled at a plastering level. We don't have any money. That's why we are begging, we are asking from the district assembly to help us. The chips compound comprises restrooms, separate accommodation for staff, storage room, washrooms and kitchen. This is to ensure maximum comfort even though there is no electricity. The assemblyman Raphael Poha supervise the construction works. We need a lot to be done on the project. So I'm still on them just to help us to uh, finish up the project in which uh, the workers, the health workers working over here can get chance to render services to the community, especially surrounded the energy community. The Kou Afram Plains North District Assembly has complemented efforts of residents by donating some doors and frames. Some philanthropists have also donated two student mattresses for use by patients, but this is not enough. Residents will need more assistance to complete the facility. The CHIPS compound, although not complete, is already in use. A community health worker has been posted to Aniji and renders basic health services to the residents. Even though the building is here, it's uncompleted, but also invading the facility. Residents are happy the CHIPS compound has been made possible through their efforts. I am very happy that we have been able to construct the CHIPS compound. We don't have money, but since the project was for a good cause, we contributed towards it. An opinion leader, Simon Janibibi, explains why the community did not wait for government. We need our help in the community, so we contribute the money. Everybody put pressure on himself, then we work hardly and put the starter up to this stage. Portable water is difficult to come by and this is affecting the running of the facility. Other communities within the electoral area are emulating the initiative by residents of Aniji. Community like uh, Kamalo, actually they are having a school in which uh, GSS has also been established over there. And they are not having accommodation for the teachers. So they have also started doing something and I've written to the assembly to come to their aid. Residents are looking forward to the even distribution of the country's resources to improve their lives. Well, great initiative taken there by residents, but still a situation in need of urgent attention. That does it for our mission segment this evening. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Anida and the European Union.